everybody it's gypsy and today is friday october 18th 2024 and it's time for my weekly gardening update um i love this time of the year fall i love well like the flavors the pumpkin the cinnamon i love the smell of it i love the smell of the leaves i love hearing the leaves crunch under my feet and I like the cooler temperatures. There's just something really cozy about fall. I love it. You know, plus I get to turn a year older in two weeks. Anyway, <laughs> um, but there are two things I don't like about fall. The first one is what comes after fall, which is winter. I do not care for winter. Um, too cold, too gloomy. And at this point in my life, just too many aches and pains. Um, so anyways, the second reason and probably even more important is I really can't get out in the garden all that much. There really won't be any gardening, anything like that. So I miss my gardening during the winter months and, you know, I did enlarge my garden this year, but it's not, it wasn't really that big. So it's kind of been over for me for, for a bit, especially when I got sick. I could I couldn't even get 10 feet to the kitchen door from the couch so getting back here was impossible and things kind of did get so hopefully next year I don't get sick at all probably won't because I rarely get sick anyways stay tuned and I will show you eh, what's going on okay just checking in on my strawberries here I think I'm gonna take this netting off I mean it's still producing However, um, by the time they ripen, they're mushy because our night times have been, um, you know, getting into the 30s or down to freezing. And in fact, last night we had a freeze warning. So I'm going to take the netting off of here, I believe. Um, these um, runners are doing fantastic. All my berry plants are looking great. Um, those are, these two beds are the ever bearing. And you know, I just planted my um, my baby um, June bearing, and they have taken very well. Can't wait to see how they are next spring because I really think it's going to be fantastic. So let's see. Oh, my other bearings, my berries, my uh, Allegheny blackberries. They're just kind of draping all over the place, looking pretty. <clears throat> Still have that cough left over a little bit. It has lessened. I'm not coughing as much. Um, the red raspberries, they're just like, every time I turn around, they've got a new baby plant. So, blueberries are just about to lose their leaves. I'm going to start mulching um, very soon here. I, I'm just going to cover all the beds and mulch where my berries are, another blueberry plant. So in here, I guess we didn't have a freeze last night like they called for because, you know, my beans, I picked as much as I could last night. But when I came out here, I mean, everything looked fine. You know, nothing looked like it had any freeze or frost uh, damage. These again are the Brussels sprouts. Um, as you remember, I had to really trim them back because I had, well, something was just chomping away on them. The, these, and this is my cabbage over here, and well, all my brassicas, broccoli over here. I had to cut a whole bunch off. But since I've done that, it looks much better. We'll see. I've never had success with, success with brassicas. I don't even know what stages, life stages they go through and what it looks like when it's ready. Maybe not so much broccoli, but like the cabbage and the Brussels sprouts. I have no idea. Now, like I said, I had to, I picked all of my peppers and I'm ripening them on the counter. And I assumed these plants would die back but they're looking really good. Plus there were baby fruit on there. And not only are they not mushy, 
And, and we've gotten pretty low into the 30s. They're not mushy. This one, they've, they're growing. And I have new blossoms coming. And I have more over here. These are chilies. Now, I've never tried overwintering these or anything, but I've never, my God, it's, I mean, it's mid-October and they look fun. I don't know what's gonna happen. It's, it's gonna be an interesting experiment because I am shocked at how good these look. I, I really am. I don't know if I'll get more peppers. Now, somebody told me they heard we're gonna have a mild winter. We'll see because these predictions very rarely are right. But, I mean, look at all these peppers I've got. This is after I picked the big ones. So, I don't know. If anybody, I'm in zone 6A in Northeast Ohio. Have any of you ever had like peppers grow like really late into the year when it gets really cold? Let me know. I mean, I'm shocked at this. Um, my radicchio is doing good. My second and third plantings are coming up. Now, my lima beans, they're still producing. They are still producing. I just, you know, every day I'm picking some off of here. I have flowers coming. And oh, these lima beans are delicious. I bought these seeds when I was in New Mexico and I'm shocked how well they're doing the cold weather. Now, the bountiful beans, oh, unfortunately done harvesting those. So I pulled these up. So, yeah, my garden still looks a mess, but believe it or not, I am cleaning it. My favorite, Grandma Hadley's. They're just so beautiful, and they just grow, you know, just so well. Easy to grow. My second and third plantings are coming up back there. Um, my beautiful, beautiful asparagus. I planted a couple weeks ago. More radish here and more radish here. I was going to do three plantings. But this was my first one, and then I got sick for two weeks. So they kind of messed me up, but, well, I guess there is some coming up. I'm a little concerned at how long it's taking. So I don't know, we'll see. Purple carrots growing like crazy. These are my um, shelling peas over here. I'm about to get some. So here's what I've discovered with peas. I mean, it, I've been planting like a massive amount of plants. You have to plant a lot of peas to get a good crop. Unless I'm doing something wrong, and if I am, somebody please let me know. These are my um, sugar snap peas. I have harvested quite a bit from here. Well, not quite a bit, some. And there is more coming. Purple carrots still doing good. I have more Grandma Hadley's growing over here. I have spinach in there. I don't hold that much hope for that. So, you know, anyways. So that's the outdoor garden. Trying to get cleanup done around here. Putting things away. So I have started um, cleaning out the greenhouse, which is gonna be quite the chore. I started pulling out plants. I got quite a bit done. As you could see, this used to be like a jungle. So I just have to finish these last few. I have to organize my pots and my trellises, stakes, all that kind of stuff. Then I have to look at these walls. It got like, when I couldn't get out here to open and close, you know, um, it way too much moisture in here. So the walls need to be scrubbed down. I don't know if you guys can see the green. <laughs> so that's what's going on there probably move my Tom or my Paris Market carrots into the greenhouse. <clears throat> so here, I, my pumpkins and gourds are done. So this is my first year planting those. Kind of like just an experiment. If it's my first time planting something, I won't plant a whole lot because I don't want to invest time and money in something I don't know if it's gonna grow for me. Well, these did fantastic. Um, I actually wish I had more. So I will be increasing my planting next spring or early summer. So 
what I'm going to do with this is, now look at those beautiful trees. I mean, look at that gold. Anyways, I'm going to um, take out the branches that I made the trellis with. I'm going to clean up this bud. So this was gourds and pumpkins. Um, and at, at the beginning of November, I am going to plant garlic in here. And I had garlic along the garage there last year. It did fantastic. So I'm going to put some in there. I'm going to have garlic in here. Uh, garlic was another thing last year, my first time planting. So I only did a little bit. Came out fantastic. So I am increasing what I'm planting. Over here, still haven't cleaned up over here. I still have a mess. So, um... My golden rods are drooping all over the place. So that's, well, I guess that's it for the week. I'm just, you know, like putting away, I don't know if you could see all my stuff over there. I'm putting that kind of stuff away. So I think I'm gonna leave you with that. Blessed be and make it a joyful one. Mm -hmm.